I'm making one of our favorite recipes, pumpkin pie, which is rich and custardy and has incredible depth of flavor because I make a cooked filling and then I put it into a pie crust and bake and decorate with fresh whipped cream. So to start, I'll take my one can of pumpkin and I'm gonna add it to a saucepan. I'm gonna add a third of a cup each of granulated sugar and brown sugar and a quarter cup of maple syrup for my third type of sugar. And that's just gonna mean more dimension of flavor. I'll season with a teaspoon of salt. And now I'm gonna cook this stirring until it's glossy and thickened. And that's gonna allow the sugars to melt and caramelize. This is smelling really good. I'm gonna grab my heavy cream and milk. I'll add three quarters of a cup of each of these. And one thing that I find so uniquely delicious about this pie is that you can actually taste the milky richness of it. And I'm using the combo so that it's really rich, but not overly rich. I'm gonna switch to a whisk now so I can whisk it all in. And now I'm just gonna heat this until the milk gets steamy. I don't wanna bring it to a boil and scald the milk. This is looking so creamy already. As this heats up, I'm gonna crack in my eggs. I've got three whole eggs and two egg yolks for added richness. So now anytime you wanna incorporate eggs into a hot mixture like this, you've gotta temper them. And that means warming them up gradually. Cause if I were to just crack them in, they would scramble and the texture would not be smooth. I'm gonna grab a ladle. This always takes some coordination, but I'm gonna add a little bit of the hot mixture as I'm whisking the eggs. And this is essentially gonna gradually cook them while maintaining their smooth texture. My egg mixture is warm to the touch and that's how I know it's ready to be added back into the pot. So with one hand, I'll drizzle it in and with the other hand, I'm gonna continue to whisk. Perfect. I'm gonna continue to cook this while it thickens and in the meantime, I'll grab my spices. I've got cinnamon and nutmeg and I'm pulling out the fancy vanilla beans. Oh, they smell so good. So I'm gonna slice it in half and just scrape off the pots. And I'm gonna use the blunt end of my knife to scrape them out. And this is gonna add fancy vanilla flavor and really pretty speckles. Okay, I'll scrape this into the filling. A little really goes a long way. And then I don't like to add too many spices, just enough to enhance the pumpkin flavor. So half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. I'll whisk this in. I love being able to see the speckles of the spices and the vanilla bean. My filling is done. I'll grab my crust, which is blind baking in the oven. This is just my go-to pie crust. Flour, sugar, and salt. Blended with cold butter, and then formed into a dough with a little apple cider vinegar and ice water. I rolled it out and crimped the edges. This is beautiful. I'm gonna taste the filling before I add it in, just in case I wanna make any adjustments. Mmm. Yum. There are so many things going on in that filling, and they all just mesh together in the most beautiful way. I'm gonna pour this into the crust and I'm gonna bake this at 375 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes until the outside is set, but the center is still a little jiggly. That's how you prevent it from cracking. Oh yes, this is perfectly done. It's set around the outside, but it's still a little soft on the inside. I'm gonna let this cool completely, decorate with fresh whipped cream and cinnamon, and then it is gonna be the sweet star of the show.